Well, for many years, leftist billionaire George Soros has used his wealth to remake our society, American society. His latest area of focus is criminal justice. From Texas to Philadelphia to the state of Virginia, Soros has reportedly spent millions of dollars backing candidates for district attorney, for prosecutor. Once elected, these candidates have tended to cash, have ended cash bail, treated felonies like misdemeanors, and sometimes ignored some crimes entirely. In the city of Philadelphia, for example, Soros backed Larry Krasner. And the murder rate there is the highest it has been in a decade. Krasner's main priority, though, is to get even softer on crime. Bill McSwain is U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Mr. McSwain, thanks very much for coming on. So it's remarkable in a democracy that one man can have the ability to remake our justice system, but it sounds uh, to some extent that's what George Soros is doing. What are his priorities? What are his goals in doing this? Well, first of all, I would say that I think in a lot of ways Philadelphia is the laboratory where this experiment in Soros-funded prosecutors is playing out. And now the returns are in to a certain extent. Larry Krasner has been in office for about a year and a half, um, funded by Mr. Soros. And we can look at the data and we can see what has happened to Philadelphia. And as you said, homicides have skyrocketed, shootings have skyrocketed. Uh, the worst kinds of violent crime have um, really gone up. And in, in addition to that, some of the low level and the mid level crimes have also gone up, but they aren't being reported. And the reason they're not being reported is because the DA has said he's not going to prosecute them. So you have statistically a bad situation that has developed in, in Philadelphia, but actually the reality on the ground is even worse than the statistics. And what Mr. Soros, I think, wants to do is that he wants to uh, implement his radical agenda, and he realizes that he can't do that through the normal democratic process. Normally, if you're going to try to get criminal justice reform, you have to do it through the legislature. You have to get broad public right. support for the kind of changes that you want, to, you want to institute. He's taking what I would describe as an illegitimate anti-democratic shortcut by trying to purchase DA elections, and then once the DA is in place, he or she doesn't enforce the law. And presto, you've got criminal justice reform. I guess, and I, everything you said is absolutely right, and for those worried about the hijacking of our democracy, here's a perfect example of it actually happening. But, but quickly, I'm just wondering, who's the winner in this? If violent crime goes up, if more people are murdered, why would you want so-called reform of this kind? I think the winners in this story are defendants. Uh, unfortunately, criminals are the winners in this story. And Mr. Krasner makes no bones about, th about this. He's not even pretending to be a prosecutor. He calls himself a public defender with power. So it's almost like letting the fox into the hen house. Once he's in, he's trying to cause as much havoc as possible. He has no background as a prosecutor. He has no interest in prosecution. He has an interest in sort of cramming down his radical pro-defendant ideology on everyone else. God, and the, the effects are just horrifying, horrifying. Th thank you very much. I think, I think people don't really understand the degree to which George Soros is successfully remaking this country, and, and they should understand. Uh, because I'm it's glad that you're, I'm glad that, thanks very much. You're welcome, I'm glad that you're raising awareness about it. Yeah, we're, we're trying. And, you know, Soros has effectively intimidated people into not criticizing him. It's some kind of moral crime uh, to call this to public attention. But it is in the public's interest to know. And so we are. Anyway, thank you very much. Great to see you Thank tonight. you, Tucker.